okay okay guys okay so today class is much okay yesterday class we discussed about the append okay today class is much okay so what i have given uh, for march okay i have given march okay so like uh, whenever you want to combine multiple table columns into okay combined or merge okay combined combined multiple multiple table columns okay so for append it's a rows but not multiple tables guys okay here only two tables at a time okay you cannot go with the more than two tables okay you cannot merge more than two tables okay here combine two tables columns into single table okay that is called merge okay that is called merge and also we have i have given one diagram for merge guys okay what is that so that is like so whenever you have a table like this okay so the table a and then table b so it can append or uh, it can merge the columns okay beside the table a like this and then table b like this okay so if you feel it's a table a okay table a and table a and this is uh, this is again table b okay this is again table b okay so and once you append okay once you merge that okay once you merge that okay so this is the final table okay table a here okay table a here and then table b here okay it, it combines the columns from both the tables into single table guys okay both the tables into single table okay hope you understand for this okay, for this we have one condition guys okay so to merge you have one condition okay both the tables should have one key column okay to combine to co uh, to combines multiple table columns into single column single table okay we required one key column in both the table okay one key column one common column you can say okay one common column from from the both the tables guys okay both the tables that is called uh, that is called key columns okay so you should have a key common column okay it's kind of a excel uh, uh, lookup guys okay it's a kind of excel lookup okay merge means it's if you you are familiar with the excel lookup okay so it's a kind of excel lookup only but here we will have the joins okay so we have a so six types of joins okay six types of joins okay if you are new to joins no problem i will explain very clearly okay the concepts will be very clear okay so the first join is okay left outer join okay the first join is left outer join and then second join is right outer join what is that right outer join and then third join is full join okay third join is full join fourth join is inner join okay fourth join is inner join and then fifth join is fifth join is left ante okay what is that left ante and then sixth one last one is right ante okay right ante okay these are the joins we have okay so again same way okay yesterday also we discussed in excel and we proved in a power bi okay the same way here i have employee table and here I have a department table so what is the common column in a, from both the tables department id is a common column from both the table guys okay so the depart id is the common column from both the table okay now okay so based on the this key columns match okay the joins will happen okay so we can merge the columns okay but in real time we can have more columns okay just i am only taking the four columns here but in real time you can think okay so the columns are okay the key columns are match and then we can combine the columns okay so now let me take one paint guys okay let me take one paint okay so that i will explain the joins very clearly okay so you can uh, you can give an answer okay you can type guys okay let uh, when you get the answer okay so this is the one table okay this is the left table okay this is the left table and this is the right table okay so this is the left table and this is the right table okay so let me okay let me take this down and then okay so total records from left table okay total records from left table left table sorry total records from left table and matching records from sorry, sorry, total records from left table 
and matching records from the both the table okay that is called left outer child okay total record from left table okay left outer child means what left outer join left outer join guys okay total record from left table total records from left table left table and matching records from records from both the table that is called left outer join guys okay that is called left outer join okay so this is the left outer join okay right outer join means quite opposite okay right outer join right outer join means quite opposite okay this is the left table and this is the right table okay this is the left table and this is the right table okay so total record from right table okay total record from right table and matching records from both the table that is called right outer join guys okay this is okay this is right outer join okay right outer join hope you are getting guys just type yes guys okay if you are getting just type yes come on right outer join okay and full join means total record from left table and total record from right table guys okay full outer join means okay this is the left table and this is the right table okay so full outer join means what total record from left table and total record from right table and matching record from both the tables okay you can say so you can say directly so total record from left table and total record from right table okay that is the full outer join okay so next one is full outer join okay so the definition is total records from left table and left table and total records from from right table Yes, are you getting right table? Okay, that is the definition. Okay, yeah. So this is the definition for full outer chain. Okay, no need to write, guys. Okay, I'm going to give a recording for you guys. Okay, no need to write anything. Okay. So again, so and inner chain. Okay, concentrate on class. Okay. So inner chain. Okay, inner chain means matching records from both the tables. Okay, matching records from both the tables, guys. Okay. so this is the common record uh, uh, records okay this is this is the inner join guys okay matching records from both the tables inner join okay the definition is matching records from okay common records from both the table or matching records from both tables okay so that is inner join okay so the next one is left ante okay left ante so i i will uh, just uh, i will give a diagram so that you can uh, give an answer now okay i will give a diagram here you can answer you can guess guess okay so left ante means only this one okay this one what is this this is the left ante guys okay now you can tell me the answer okay left ante okay only left side records which are not matching with the right table okay that is the left ante guys okay that is the left ante okay right ante means that quite opposite okay right ante means quite opposite okay if you are new to join okay you don't worry guys i am going to explain very clearly i will explain in excel as well as the paint right okay you can understand very clearly so no problem the join concept here and then in sql also same okay in the sql also same okay so let me go here and then so only right table records that is right ante okay only right side records which are not matching with the left table okay that is a right ante yes hope you are clear with the definitions okay shall i move to the next topic guys okay so shall i move to the excel okay is that clear just type yes guys okay if you are clear with the diagrams okay just type yes come on awesome awesome guys okay yeah super okay let me move to the excel now okay we'll see that results in excel okay based on the definition okay so hope you are clear that okay so let me okay this is the 
okay this is the left table okay this is the left table and this is the right table guys okay this is the right table okay so what is left outer joint definition based on the left outer joint total record from left table guys okay so i am taking the total record from left table and pasting here and matching record from right table okay if you want you can choose only right table okay whatever the columns you want you can choose other or else you want to to take total uh, columns you can take okay but now i am interested in only department name so that is the reason i am choosing okay after matching the department id and department id okay so what is the here is the department id d01 and d01 guys okay d01 and d01 what is the department name okay department name when the department id is matching okay when the department id is matching okay so that is department name is it right guys okay if you want you can unmute yourself and then you can say okay so here is again d01 and d01 matching right so what is the department name it and d02 and d02 is matching okay what is the department name if it is a d02 sales right sales yeah, sales and here is a d02 and then d02 okay sales yeah sales again sales okay sales okay and next so again if you go down sorry down okay d03 right okay d03 and d03 okay so what is the um, um, hr hr yeah hr awesome okay hr here okay and d06 and d07 are not matching okay d06 and d07 not there in the department table okay then that time what we will get okay that time what we will get guys okay nulls okay we'll nulls. Nulls. yeah we will get nulls okay so yeah you can go and then you can specify okay null okay null null okay so this is the left outer joint guys okay we'll see this uh, same results in power bi guys okay so total record from left table and matching record from right table if it is not match okay nulls will get okay that is the left outer joint okay that is the left outer joint now we'll go with the right outer joint guys okay we'll go with the right outer joint okay let me go here and then okay so so total record from right table now okay total record from right table okay here from here it is match right so we'll get the duplicate department id okay so that is the reason i'm taking the department id duplicate okay then after we have a department name okay department id and a department name okay let me go here and then okay this is the total departments okay here d01 means what is the department name it right okay it and then sales d02 sales sales and then h okay h so now we got the total record from right table okay and then we should uh, so for left table we should get only matching records right okay from d03 okay from d03 it's matching right so we'll get from d03 okay so matching record from left table okay total record from right table and matching record from yes matching record from now now we will not take d05 or d06 yes what is that d06 and d07 it's not matching right only matching yeah. record from left table right so that is the reason we will not get here are you getting total yes. record from right table and matching record from the left table okay d06 yeah, and d07 yeah. is not matching okay it's recording guys okay please uh, okay so as much as possible okay uh, please uh, mute yourself and then i will share this record with you guys okay okay nuls 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 okay we will get the nuls okay so this is the right outer joint hope you are clear with this okay just type yes guys okay if you are clear with this okay right outer joint i explained the diagram in the as for the diagram i am taking the data into okay so here yeah, okay this is the right outer joint okay hope you are clear that okay next uh, you can take inner joint guys okay you can take inner joint okay let me go here and then take inner joint inner joint means in what so both the matching records from both the tables okay matching records from the both the tables so what are the common records from here what are the common ids from here and here so d01 d01 d02 d03 we have a common records okay you can take the common records and then you can paste it here okay and then department name what is the d01 department d01 department is it okay you can write it here and then uh, again uh, d01 it's it and d02 it's a sales okay 
again uh, it's a sales okay it's a hr base okay so hr okay so this is the inner jan hope you are getting guys okay hope you are getting right so next uh, full outer jan full outer jan means what okay so if you uh, full outer jan means what okay, the so table total record from left table okay so let me take the total record from left table guys okay let me take total record from left table and total record from right table okay so yeah so here is the okay department id this is the from uh, employee table and uh, this is from department table okay so here uh, dg6 and dg7 uh, is not there in a department table right so here we will get the null and then so we are having extra what is that dg04 and dg05 okay dg04 and dg05 guys so d04 and d05 we, we are here now okay so the department uh, names what it so d01 is it again it d02 sales okay uh, again sales okay so d04 hr d03 hr and this one null okay d06 d07 is it. so here also you are getting total records okay d01 d02 d03 and d04 and d05 okay so if it is not match with so if it is not match with the left table you are getting null is in a right table and if you are not getting with the uh, right table okay here you will get the null values that's it okay okay so okay where we have no we are okay so null values okay so this is the behavior of full join okay this is the behavior of full join okay now left ante and right ante okay guys what are the uh, total records for uh, left table which are not matching with the right table okay what are the records we have only left side records which are not matching with the right table okay so you D can see the id D and yes d06 and d07 is the only left side records which are not matching with the right table okay then you can take this and then you can paste it here guys okay you can paste it here okay and the department name so in the department table we don't have this that is the reason you will get nulls you will get nulls here okay right anti means only right side records which are not matching with the d04 and d05 yes awesome awesome okay that is the answer guys okay d04 and d05 is the answer okay which are not which are not there in the right table okay it's there in only left side tables okay that is the reason okay we'll go for the left right anti okay that is the reason we'll go for the right anti guys okay this is the right table records okay for this you will get the nulls okay for this you will get the nulls here okay guys is that clear okay explanation is clear okay now what we'll do We'll uh, take a copy, same tables, we'll take a copy into, okay, so Power BI, and then we'll see the results now, okay, we'll see the results, okay, if you are clear, just type, okay, C guys, okay, if you are clear, just type C command, okay, if you are very clear, oh, super, awesome, people are following the shortcut, VVCC, okay, awesome, okay, let me take a copy, and then enter data, okay, you can click on enter data, and then I'm going to enter your super, okay so this is employee table okay this is employee table and then click on edit okay it will take you to power query editor and then take department table and then enter data okay take department table enter data it's already open okay it's open and then okay you can go and then click on enter data here okay and then okay this is DEPT department table, okay. DEPT department table, okay. So, okay, DEPT means department table, and then click OK. So, we have two tables now, okay. So, where we have that merge, okay. Here is the merge as a new query and merge query case, okay. Merge query, hope the same like a append queries, okay. The first one I am not going to uh, discuss, okay. I am going with the merge as a new query. Why? Because I have explained already. So, what is append as a queries, okay. What is append query and what is append query as a new? Okay, so we are going to do the six joints now. Okay, let me go and then. Okay, so where we have joints and all, I will, I'm going to explain here now. Okay, so this is so you have to select the 
here is the only two tables guys okay that is the reason i am saying okay so merge we can do at a time two tables okay we can merge at a time two tables columns into single table okay after merge you can do okay after merge table you can do on one more merge but on on the merge table you can do one more merge but at a time you can take only two tables to merge but append it is not like that okay you can take n number of tables and then you can append guys are you getting my point okay just type yes guys okay if you are getting my point just type yes okay append we can take n number of tables and then we can append but merge we can do at a time two tables we can merge guys okay and you should select the common columns from the both the tables guys okay otherwise it's not it will not be enabled okay this okay is not enabled and uh, are for string was it's enabled for me it's not enabling okay i think my tool is not working no guys okay you have to select the common columns okay uh, so like i experienced it okay i experienced it okay so the students are like that okay that is the reason i'm clearly saying that okay you have to select the common okay column which we have okay key column common key column we have to select okay then only this okay will be enabled and also the six joins okay whatever i said the six joins okay this is the left outer join okay this is the right outer join okay this is the full join guys okay? even definition also there guys okay so for shortcut he has written like this okay um, all from first and matching from second okay all from second and matching from okay so but um, so that is left hand right hand uh, right outer join some, something like that right so okay i have given so which is the first table that is the left table guys okay which is the down table that is a right table okay you can feel like that okay so which okay which is the top table that is a right table and which is sorry left table and which is a down table that is a left table okay by default join okay some people may ask the question interview question okay what is the default join okay if you don't select anything okay the default join will be there so that is left outer join and okay that is the left outer join okay default join means what left outer join okay these are the six joins you have inner join left hand right hand okay so let me go with the left outer join and then click okay okay click okay so this is the left outer join guys okay this is the left outer join okay we'll see the records okay it has given compressed record okay department compressed okay if you click on empty place okay what are the columns are there and what is there something it will show here okay so it will show department id and department name is there compressed table is there you can expand that okay you can expand that okay so you there is a okay column if you want only if you want to select only one column you can go with the department name only and use okay original column name as a prefix prefix means okay the table name guys okay this table name dot column name will come okay if you check this okay if you check this table name dot column name will come okay if you don't want that you can uncheck that okay so i am going to uncheck now okay so let me show you that guys okay if you use that and then it will give the department table name dot department column name okay you can go like that and then if you don't want okay you can uh, unre okay go back and then here also when you do the final okay when you do the final okay merge so it's having only so step that means merge is a append or reference guys okay that means merge is a append or reference okay it's having only so step okay which which table will have the so step only guys just type reference just type yeah. it reference ref that is fine okay you can go with ref guys okay that is reference okay so merge and appends are reference not a duplicate table okay if you uh, go with the merge as a new query it's a reference table it's not duplicate table okay so you can uncheck that and then you can go with the department name and then click okay so now guys okay so this is the total record from left table and matching record from the right table okay matching record from the right table and if it is not match okay we will get the nulls okay the same we uh, we have seen in excel guys okay let me go and show you in excel okay so total record from left table matching record from right table if it is not match okay we will get the nulls guys we are getting right yay we got come on just type it guys okay yay we got it yes come on you got it just type type it guys okay yay come on you can use shortcut yay come on we got it yes awesome awesome yeah that 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 excitement you should have other, then only you can learn guys okay that excitement you should have okay when you were engaging with me then you will learn lot of things okay come on guys okay yes 
Yes, next one, right outer join. Okay, next one, right outer join. You can go with the merge as a new query and then click on uh, merge as a new query now. Okay, and then take a department table and then select the common column. Okay, select a common column. And then this time, what 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 join we are going to select? This time we are going to select the right outer join and then click OK. Okay. So this time again, I'm going to expand. Okay. If you want, you can take uh, both the table, both the columns also. Not a problem. Okay. So total record from right table. Okay. So this is uh, we have we are having two department IDs, right? So that is the reason to differentiate that. Okay. It's having a one extra here. Okay. So this is total record from uh, depart, uh, uh, right table and matching records from the left table. If it is not match, okay, if it is not match, we are getting the null values. Okay, let me show you in the, let me show you in the Excel case. Okay, that, that's what we have written around. Okay, total record from right table and total record from left table. Okay, so if it is not match, okay, sorry, matching record from the left, uh, left table and if it is not match, nuts. Okay, if it is not matched, nuts. Okay, that is about the right outer join. Okay, you can write. Okay, right outer join. Guys, are you getting? Just type yes, guys. Okay, if you are getting, just type yes. Okay, it's a easy. Okay, it's a easy. Okay, joins. If you know, if you don't know earlier, you are getting very clear information. Joins. Okay, about joins. Even SQL also same, but the syntax you have to write it. Okay, the syntax you have to write it. But here everything is a button click. As I said in the first class. Okay, everything will be a button click, guys. As of now, I haven't written any single code. Guys, agree? Ne uh, any anything I have written in a code, guys? Okay, no right. I didn't okay. written any code. Okay, so totally, um, you know, button clicks. Everything is a button clicks. Okay, yes, superb, awesome. Okay, so this is the right outer join and also. You got that okay next one full outer join guys okay full outer join means what total record from left table and total record from right table okay so take this uh, department table and then select the common columns okay hope you are clear that okay so next you can go with the full join and then click okay so total record from left table and total record from right table guys okay you can go and so you can select that and then you can use this. Okay. So now whatever I explained this, okay. This is the total record from left table and total record from right table. Okay. If it is not matched with the uh, right table, okay. In right table, we'll get the nulls. And if it is not matching with the left table, we'll get the null values in the left table. Case, okay. Are you getting, okay. Same results we can see here. Okay. That's what I have explained here. Okay. That's what I have explained. Okay, same thing. Okay, total record from left table and total record from right table. If it is not matching with the right table, we are getting the null values. Okay, if you are not getting with the left table, here also we are getting the null values. Okay, that is the full outer join means. Full outer join means what? Total record from left table and total record from right table. Okay, awesome. Now, okay, the set. Uh, so the join is like uh, left anti gauge. Okay, left anti means what? To, um, sorry, inner join. Okay, and the next one is inner join. You can take this and then take a common column. Okay, so this time we are going to take the inner join. Inner join means what? Matching records from both the tables. Okay, matching records from both the tables. Okay, so you you can expand that. Okay, take these two take two columns or you can take only one column. That's fine. Okay, so matching records from both the tables. Case. Okay, D03 till D03 is matched. So that is the reason we are getting a matching only matching record from both the tables. Okay, so this is the full join. Okay, you can rename from here also, or else you can rename from here also. Case. Okay, so you can rename from here also or there. Okay, full name, full join, full join, and then so you can rename from here also. Okay, so double click and rename. Okay, this is the inner join. Okay, the last two joints we have left anti and right anti case. Okay, last two joints we have left anti and right anti. Okay, you can go here and then you can take a merge as a new query. Okay, so this time I'm going to select the department table and then select the department ID and then department ID. Okay, so this time we are going to select the left anti. 
okay click okay uh, only only record from right, left table right which are not matching with the right table okay so that only we'll get okay so that d06 and d07 is a left table which are not matching with the right table okay that is left and t okay that is left and t okay maybe question okay maybe uh, people may ask the interview question okay what is the difference between left and t and left outer join okay what is the difference between full join and inner join okay this kind of questions may uh, ask in interview it's easy for you guys okay i have explained very clearly right guys okay it's easy just type easy easy it's easy come on e yeah easy yes come on e r e z yes z okay some people are innovating okay that easy z z okay yes superb anything okay okay you can go and then uh, so last join is right anti okay last join is right anti okay you can select the department table and then click on this department id and then you can go with the right anti okay right anti means only right table records which are not matching with the left table what are those d04 and d05 right d04 and d05 you can go with this okay so this is the d04 and d05 okay this is about the joins guys okay this is about the join okay so maybe people may ask okay what is the default join you can write it is a default join okay default join okay default okay so i have given a uh, you know definitions i have given already here so that is the reason i am not returning in the notepad anyhow you are you are going to have the record right so you no need okay so guys this is the now okay now tell me the differences guys okay now tell me the differences between append and merge okay append and merge okay so now we'll write the differences guys okay so append will append the row yes the appends multiple multiple table rows into single, single table into single table yeah and uh, merge means what we uh, columns we merge column two tables into single table columns yeah merge two table columns into merge two table. two table columns into single table okay so that is much and then one more difference okay what is the difference okay people are typing very good okay so again so one more difference okay. it's a case sensitive case okay it's a append is a case sensitive but merge is not case sensitive okay yes append is a case sensitive but merge is not case sensitive okay merge is not not case sensitive okay yeah at least one column one is column in merge but in append it is not necessary yeah one, one column yes one common column okay but append not required common column okay superb awesome not required common column here yeah, you should have one common column in a both tables okay should have common column from both tables okay both tables merge we can then append uh, n number of tables but yes superb awesome but merge in only uh, two tables yes awesome okay here we can do more than okay we can append more than two tables superb guys okay here you can do at a time only only two tables we can merge merge only data type also append uh, it should not require data type merge should require data types yes superb yeah correct that is a correct okay data type may not be same here okay data type may not be same here okay super base okay may not be 
same here but here data type should be match okay data type should be match it should be yeah it match okay yes awesome guys we can use your mute yourself for someone okay making lot of noise please okay so it's a recording now again i am saying guys okay don't okay so please yeah so go one by one okay if you have any questions you can go one by one and then uh, we'll uh, discuss okay any questions on much guys you can type okay if you have any questions you can type okay i can take i can take okay 30 minutes pause and then uh, we'll see okay if it's not okay we'll go to the next topic okay just type n okay no problem yeah, just type n guys okay need key column in much yes we required a common column from both the tables in a much okay so just type n okay if you don't have just type n okay we'll move to the next talk, next concept today okay super awesome okay so someone type something okay yeah we'll uh, discuss at the end okay if you if you have any questions okay so most of the people are clear very clear okay what is the merge and append okay so now so my requirement is okay i have a folder okay so i have a folder in that i have a multiple files okay in that i have a multiple files and every month okay one new file will come okay every month one new file will come and i will show you the folder guys okay what is that folder and what is my main goal i will explain so that you can understand okay so there is a append folder is there so in append folder we have every month okay i am getting uh, some salary from this okay so from this company sir something okay i have a employees in this company okay say just think like that guys okay i have a employees in this uh, you know companies and i am getting some salaries from okay so every month they uh, they will send one file okay that will be in a one common folder okay so every file will have this records okay i'm just taking only three records in each file okay so whenever the file gets okay and no need to come to this folder okay whenever the new file will come automatically should load okay so the column order may not be same guys okay it's going to be append okay i'm going to append multiple table multiple uh, files at a time okay multiple files at a time uh, by using folder guys okay so there is a okay so this is the folder name okay this is the folder name in this uh, folder we have a files and the, all files are having same column uh, columns and but the column order is not same okay for append we don't require column order same guys okay i am going to append this at a time and whenever uh, the whenever the we are enter into the april month okay the new file will come okay when the whenever we are enter in the april month the new file will come so we uh, by you we, no need to connect again uh, with the new file guys okay no need to go and then connect it should automatically when data refresh it should automatically load the so whatever the new file is there it should load the data into power bi guys hope you are clear okay we are going to get the folder now okay we are going to connect the folder now so our source is folder now okay clear the requirement what is our main goal okay hope you are clear right so i am going to connect the folder and then i am loading to the multiple files at a time into power bi so if the new file will come automatically it should load okay just when we refresh the data okay when we refresh the data okay let me go and connect the folder now okay let me go and then connect the folder now okay just go here and then click on more sources okay click on more sources okay so when you click on more sources there is a file section actually okay so there is a file section in the file section there is a folder okay you can click on that folder once you click on the folder it will ask the browse okay it will ask to browse otherwise you can copy paste also if you know the folder path you can copy paste here otherwise you can browse okay just okay for now i am browsing okay where it is there okay in my pc this pc okay in my d drive guys okay there is d drive in the d drive there is a practice files okay in practice file there is a folder called append okay just click on that okay and then click okay okay so this time okay so every time we'll have the okay um okay so when you are in the power query it will ask only okay but here 
it's asking transform data or combined and transform data okay combined and transform data combined means the table will be append okay table will be append one by one okay one by one and each table is having only three records guys okay each each table is having three records but how many how many are there um so let me go here and then how many are there so three and three six and seven okay seven means 21 records should come okay just a combined and transform click on combined and transform guys okay so it will append all tables into one table and then we'll get the total okay so total request case okay just click any one sheet and then okay click okay okay so it's create for it's create a parameter function and automatically it has created some parameter and function something like this guys okay so see okay how many records are there 21 records now see okay now see so we uh, so for now we have a very less number of records that is the reason you are going and then you are seeing the count okay it's having 21 records okay if if we have thousands of records you don't know how to calculate right so there is a transformation count count rows okay you can click on count rows it will give okay it will give count rows okay 21 okay so okay so that way we can count okay so let me close this okay i'm going to paste one more file into uh, this folder case okay so what are the folders we have 2020 uh, 2022 we have january file and march file and february file also okay let me go and then copy the same data okay i'm not interested in the data case okay I'm interested in the file. Okay. I'm going to rename. Okay. The file name will be same. Okay. The file name. Okay. Sorry. The data will be same, but file name I'm going to. Okay. Just, just imagine guys. Okay. There is a April file came and then how the data will be load. Okay. Just, I'm, I'm not going to do anything in the power BI. So whether it is, okay, just, I will refresh whether it is load the data or not. Okay. So one more, three more records are there now. Okay. So how many records once I refresh. Okay. So it should add three more, three more records. That is now we are having only 21. Okay. After refresh, we'll get the four, three more records. It will be 24 records, right? Just, okay. I'm going to, so here is the refresh button. I'm going to click on refresh. Okay. I'm going to click on refresh. Okay. Just click on refresh all. Okay. It will refresh and then add. So now the 24 records earlier, it was 21. Okay. So what is the April file? Okay. So you'll get April file. Guys, okay. See April 2022, you are getting here. Okay. Are you getting? So this is the combination of multiple files. Okay. So that way we can go with the, okay. We can go with the folder. When you connect the folder automatically, if you, um, okay, loaded the file. So it will automatically pick when you refresh the file. Guys, okay. So that way we can pick the file. Hope you are clear with this concept. Just type C guys. Okay. If you are. Uh, clear okay hello everyone is there okay yeah so that is about okay so i am going to um, give a q and a session and let me stop recording guys okay i am going to give a